All right, the notes for today are talking about distributing monomials. And this is another one that we've technically done before. We just haven't quite called it this vocab. All right, so as a reminder, this first line was from last Friday's notes. A polynomial has variables, which are the letters. They have coefficients, which are the numbers in front of your variables. So like 5x, 5 would be the coefficient. And constants. And constants are numbers that don't attach to variables. So 6, 12, negative 3, just the numbers. All right. Now, a little bit of Greek for you. A polynomial has multiple terms or pieces because poly means many. So polynomial literally means many terms, many pieces. So when we talk today about distributing monomials, it has just one term because mono means one. All right, so it's just going to have a variable and a coefficient, or it's just going to be a constant. So this is just distribute a thing. All right, so I've got some reminders about distributive property down here. If you're multiplying variables, you add the exponents together. So in this case, I'm taking this 5x to the third, and I'm distributing it, which means to multiply. So I can do the numbers together first. 5 times 6 make 30. And then I'm going to count how many x's there are. x to the third means there are three x's here and two x's here. So 3 plus 2 makes a total of five x's. I always think of it as how many x's are there. Three and two more would make five. If we keep distributing, same thing, we can multiply our numbers together. So five times nine makes 45. Now again, add your exponents or count how many x's there are. There's three x's out here and another x inside, so that makes a total of four x's. And we are still adding the exponents. If there isn't an exponent, you can put a 1 up there. And then for the last one, 5 times negative 1 makes negative 5. And then we've got 3x's here and no more x's here, so that is still a total of 3x's. So when you're multiplying variables, it's how many x's do you have, or whatever letter it is. On the right-hand side here, it says if you're multiplying different variables, you can only combine the same variable. So x's can only go with x's, y's can only go with y's. So just deal with each letter separately or one at a time. So here, this first one, so I'm going to multiply the numbers together first. 3 times 6 makes 18. And now I'm going to look at x's. There's one x out here and another x in here, so that would make a total of two x's, so x squared. And now I'm going to do my y's. There's three y's out here and another y here, so that would make four y's, or y to the fourth. So don't deal with x's and y's together. Deal with all of your x's first and then all of your y's. So let's do this next one. Same thing, do your numbers first. 3 times 9 makes 27. I've got one x out here, and I don't have any more x's in here, so I'm just going to bring down that one x. I've got three y's out here, no more y's, so I'm going to put three y's still. And then, so that's all of these guys, but look over here. I've also got a W and, oh, I lied. There were two X's. There was an X here and an X here. I can't read. So two X's, X squared. There were just the three Y's, and there's also a W. Hopefully you've got better reading comprehension than I do. All right, let's do another one. This one I'm actually going to distribute four. There are four terms inside here. Three times negative two, because we use minus signs like negatives makes negative 6. I've got an x, no more x's. I've got three y's, no more y's. And I've got a z. All right, and then one more distributing. 3 times 6 makes 18. x and another x makes two x's. And then I've just got three y's. All right. So now my last little note down here, after you distribute, look for like terms. Remember that like terms have the same uh, variables and the same exponents. So in other words, this x to the fifth and this x to the fourth and this x to the third, even though they all have x's, 
their different uh, exponents, 5, 4, and 3. So we can't combine those. And then the last step is to make sure your answer is in standard form, all of your exponents in order from highest to lowest. All right, now this guy, we would have to move a lot of things around, so I'm just going to talk about this one. Your exponents go from the highest exponent all the way down smaller exponents as you go. Remember, constants always the last, so things without variables always the last. All right, so let's actually do a couple of these, all right? So it says use distributive property to simplify. So in this case, we're taking 8 and we are distributing everything by 8. So we're multiplying everything by 8. Calculator would be nice. 8 times 4 makes 32. Uh, if I look at just this branch of my little distributing, I've got two x's here, and that's all the x's I have there. So I'm going to go back to color coding so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm talking about. If I distribute the next one, 8 times negative 9 makes negative 72. No x's and 1x, so just 1x. And then on the last one, 8 times positive 3 makes a positive 24. So I distributed. I'm going to look for like terms, of which there are none. And then I'm going to make sure it's in standard form. So highest exponent all the way down. So in this case, remember, if you, there are no exponents at all, no variables at all, that constant of 24 has to come last. So that one has to go in the middle. All right, let's look at part B. Now, Notice the order that everything goes in. You always have to distribute first and then combine like terms. So I know that 14x and 3x look like like terms, but you have to take care of your distributing first. So I'm going to multiply everything by 3x. So I'm just going to bring this 14x down. Nothing has happened to it. 3x times x. I like to put my 1s in front. 3 times 1 makes a positive 3 with 2x's, x squared. And then 3 times 5 makes a positive 15. There's an x here. No x is here, so I'm just going to bring down the 1. Now I can look for like terms and put them in standard form. So remember, if we've got to put it in standard form, you might as well start with your highest exponents. So 3x squared is going to come first. And then these guys are both like terms. 14 plus 15 makes 29. And when you're combining like terms, nothing changes exponent. We collected x's, it stays x. All right, let's try the next one. So we're still going to start with distributing. So 5 times 7 makes 35. I've got two x's out here and another two x's, so that would make x to the fourth, four x's in total. If I do this next one, 5 times negative 8 makes negative 40. Got two x's and another x, so that would be x to the third. And then for the last one, 5 times 2 makes a positive 10. And then I've just got the two x's here, no more x's, so just two. All right, and so you're going to look for like terms and put it in standard form, which this one already is. All right, next, now be careful. Look at this one. We're distributing a negative 4, so be careful of your negatives. So multiply your numbers together first. Negative 4 times 9 makes negative 36. And if I count up all my x's, this one x to the 8th and 7 more x's, so 8 plus 7 makes 15 x's in total. I'm going to do this next one. And remember, you are multiplying the coefficients. You're multiplying the numbers. So negative 4 times 4 makes negative 16. And we're going to count how many x's we have. We have 8 x's out here and 4 more. So 8 plus 4 when we're doing our exponents is going to make 12. And then for the last one, I like to put my 1's in front if I don't have coefficient. Negative 4 times negative 1 makes a positive 4. Negative times negative is a positive. 8 x's, 2 more x's makes x to the 10th. And you look for like terms. You look to make sure that all your exponents go from highest to lowest, and that is true. All right. Now, if you can do those four, the rest of these are exactly the same process. It might look a little bit longer, uh, and it might have scarier numbers, but that's okay. So you're going to multiply your numbers first. So 1 half times 8, this one's definitely good for a calculator, or Desmos, 1 half times 8 makes 4. I've got 1 W. This guy doesn't have any W, so just the 1 W, and just the 1 X. 
if I do the next one, 1 half times 10 makes a positive 5. I've just got the 1w and the 1y. And I have to stop distributing here because there's where the parentheses closed. So I'm just going to bring down this plus 12wx that we did not use. All right. There are no exponents, so there's no standard form to worry about, but you do still have to combine up your like terms. And these guys are my like terms because they both have the same variables. So 4 plus 12 makes 16 wxs plus 5y. Oh, 5wy, sorry. All right. For the next one, so we're distributing a 5xy. So 5 times 4 makes 20. Got an x here and an x here, so that makes 2x's, x squared. And just the 1y from out here. If I do the next one, 5 times 7 makes 35. I've got 1x out here and 2 more here, so that would make 3x's in total. And the y. If I do this next one, 5 times negative 9 makes negative 45. There's only the one x between these two, but there's a y here and another y here, so that would make y squared, two y's. And then for the last one, 5 times 8 makes a positive 40. And they don't share any of the same letters. There's only the one x, there's only the one y, and there's a t, so x, y, t. All right, you look for your like terms, of which there are none. Like, these guys both have x's and y's, but this one has two x's and a y. This one has three x's and a y, so they're not like terms. And this one has one x and two y's. So none of them are like terms. But I do have to switch some things up to get them in standard form, because highest exponent needs to come first. So this 35x to the third y needs to come first. And then either of these two could come next because they both have a squared in them. So it doesn't matter which one comes first. I'm going to put plus 20x squared y and then the minus 45xy squared. Oh, squeeze that y in. So highest exponent to lowest exponent. If it's the same, it doesn't matter what order it went in. And then the one with no exponents would go last. All right. For the bottom two, it is exactly the same process, just it involves distributing here and here. So it's distributing twice this time instead of just distributing once, right? Algebra doesn't get any harder, it just gets longer. So 3 times 2 makes 6, and they both have an x, so x squared, 2x's. 3 times 9 gives us 27 with just the one x. For here, 2 times 6, and it's a positive 2. So 2 times 6 makes a positive 12. There's two x's and another x, so that's x to the third. And then 2x squared times 7 makes 14x squared. 2 times 7 is 14. There's only two x's. All right, and then we need to combine like terms and put it in standard form while we're here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the highest exponent. There are no like terms with it, but I know it has to come first anyway. There are 2x squareds, though, so 6 plus 14 makes 20x squareds. And remember, when you're combining like terms, nothing happens to the exponents. And then that plus 27x that couldn't combine with anything goes last. All right, for the next one, be careful with your negatives, because this is a negative 8 and a negative 7, right? So negative 8 times 5 makes negative 40. And there's seven x's here, four here and three more here, so that makes x to the seventh. Negative eight times a positive nine makes a negative 72. There's four x's here and another x, so that would be x to the fifth. All right, remember, minus signs work like negatives. So negative seven y times nine y makes negative 63 y squared. A y and another y would make two y's. And then negative 7 times positive 10 makes negative 70. And then there's just the 1y, because this one doesn't have any. Okay. And then you end it by combining like terms and putting it in standard form. This one's already done. 
Uh, your exponents do go highest to lowest, and none of them have the same exponent and variables, so we are done.